How can I be certain that I haven't committed the unforgivable sin? Well, this is one of the most frequently asked questions that I have ever been asked in the Bible Answer Man broadcast, and it stems from the following words that were spoken by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he said, I say to you, any sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven people, but blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him either in this age or in the age to come. As a result of those very words, Christians are often paralyzed by the fear of having committed the unforgivable sin. So in response, let me first point out that from a historic perspective, the Pharisees mentioned by Jesus militantly hated Christ and attributed his, his miracles to be Elzebub, the prince of demons. So unlike people who are afraid that they have committed the unforgivable sin, the Pharisees were totally unconcerned about receiving Christ's forgiveness. Instead, with premeditation and persistence, they willfully blasphemed the Holy Spirit's testimony that Christ was the Son of the living God. It's crucial to recognize, then, that the unforgivable sin is not a single act. It is a continuous, ongoing rejection of Jesus Christ. Furthermore, those who have committed the unpardonable sin have no godly regrets. As Paul emphasized in the book of Romans, they not only continue in their evil ways, but approve of others who do so as well. Conversely, godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation. Sorrow for sin and the desire for Christ's forgiveness are proof positive that you've not rejected the Savior of your soul. Never forget that three times Peter denied his Lord with vile oaths. And yet, not only did Christ forgive him, but his confession, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, became the cornerstone of the Christian church. Finally, the Bible consistently teaches that those who spend eternity separated from God do so because they willingly, knowingly, and continuously reject the gospel. In fact, St. John referred to this very thing as the sin that leads to death. And he does so in the sense that those who refuse forgiveness through Christ's will will, in fact, spend eternity separated from his grace and love. Be assured, be absolutely certain that those who sincerely desire God's forgiveness can be absolutely clear that he will never turn them away. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. 1 John 5, verse 13.